So I think it's important to be able to understand that that from a from a threat intelligence perspective, there there's there's a lot of misconception within the industry. Uh, so when you when you talk to clients uh, and, and organizations and agencies about how they use threat intelligence, they're really just using threat data. And so it's it's I think important to be able to understand definitions associated with threat intelligence. So you have threat data and uh, uh, and then threat information and then threat intelligence. So threat data is really a, an, an, an IOC. It's an email address. It's a it's a, a known bad IP. All right. So this is in some way, shape, or form something that that that, that is that is known to be bad. Uh, uh, and then through that, you 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 initiate blocking mechanisms within the security operations center uh, to be able to make sure that 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 known bad doesn't happen within the organization. So then, threat information is 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 understanding the the, the context around that threat data. So that 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 campaign that's associated with uh, uh, with with that that. Uh, email address or that um, uh, domain IP and so on and so forth and so people to say I know that this actor whether it's a nation state or organized crime or hactivist uh, uh, is uh, he has these tools techniques and procedures associated uh, uh, with their with their with their mode of operations and so that provides kind of an, an understanding of why why this known bad isn't is inherently bad and then finally threat information or th threat intelligence is really understanding from an organizational perspective what you're what you're what what you're trying to protect all right so understanding your data stores understanding your crown jewels so to speak but also understanding from an organizational perspective you know what 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 the actor might also be interested in as well and so what you consider crown jewels may not necessarily be uh, what what the actor considers crown jewels so I think it's important to, uh, as analysts are creating reports um, and uh, that, are, that are associated with the threat intelligence feeds that, that they're getting, they need to answer the question of so what? Right. So why is this information important for the security operations manager? Why is this information uh, important for the for the DevOps person? Why is this information important to supply chain risk or the insider threat? Ultimately, ultimately, the the, the question of so what 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 drives the action associated with uh, with with the report? Uh, ultimately, I see uh, cyber threat intelligence as more of an enterprise risk management tool than I see it as a as a as a as a Kind of a, a, a cyber tool, so I, it's 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 a mechanism through which to be able to elicit some sort of decision about to be able to um, uh, uh, block that port, open that port, cut off this service, turn on that service, and so on and so forth. I think I think the biggest challenge and and, and one that we come across more most often is th threat intelligence doesn't necessarily need to live within the security operations center again. So going back to my previous answer, uh, 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 threat intelligence I see as an enterprise risk management tool. So something through through which you can ar articulate the so what. Uh, uh, but but again the, the so what can 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 permeate in, in multiple areas of the organization. So again it, it, the if if your organization already currently understands the, uh, 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 the the data and the attack vectors and the actors and understand the crown jewels associated with with the data that 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 adversaries are are interested in, but also from an organizational perspective, things that you hold valuable. Uh, uh, you can take this very easily um, in, into different parts of the organization. So you can take this and you can articulate, you know, here are the risks associated with our supply chain because we're seeing this type of activity. Uh, uh, here, here, are, here are the risks associated with uh, uh, with insider threat because we're seeing uh, the, these 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 populations actively targeted. Uh, 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 you know, we're seeing. Challenges associated with, uh, 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 or here, here are some ways that you can articulate. You know the uh, uh, ways to be able to uh, uh, enhance the DevSec process, uh, De DevSecOps process through uh, through more meaningful uh, 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 security controls uh, uh, applications. We recently published a an article last year on. Uh, within the anthology uh, uh, that, that talks about cyber threat intelligence fusion, um, uh, so uh, we 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 articulated some of the 
uh, about some of the challenges and some of our thoughts around the areas of actionable intelligence, but also from from an organizational perspective. Here are different ways that you can you can orchestrate uh, uh, existing personnel within a cyber threat intelligence fusion cell. Uh, additionally, within KPMG, we also have. Uh, 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 tabletop exercises. We have a cyber uh, uh, cyber threat intelligence maturity model uh, uh, that, that we can help lead uh, you know clients through to be able to look at their existing feeds, uh, uh, their, their their risk appetite, and and help an organization understand different ways that in which they can repurpose and reuse threat intelligence across the enterprise. Inherently, KPMG uh, uh, is a because because of the organization that we are. Uh, so we're. We're a neutral third party, uh, 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 so we we lead with 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 business and industry best practices, but we are so aren't, aren't associate. We are also aren't tied to any particular you know technology stack or suite. Uh, we do have relationships with a number of those uh, those CTI organizations and understand the technology uh, that is available within commercial and and, and, and government industry. Uh, but but ultimately, when 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 our clients call upon us, uh, uh, they, they want they want to be able to understand how how CTI can 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 be impacted and 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 influenced by the business. So uh, uh, so. When we engage with our clients, we 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 try to we try to bring all the stakeholders together uh, and and understand the different use cases and scenarios and different ways through which to be able to repurpose and reuse existing technology, existing tools, and understand how how to integrate within a culture of the organization.